Hey guys, I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, oil painter, and Twitch streamer. You're about to watch a section of one of my streams where I create this image right here. Um, do stick around, watch um, subsequent videos, or navigate through the channel and see if there's anything else you like. Drop a subscribe, like, comment, um, check out my work on Instagram, and join me live on twitch.tv forward slash Professional Bohemian with me and my community and have some fun. Enjoy the video, guys. So yeah, I've um, I've just I've made a, like a really pale grey wash. Neither of you done a morning stream before. No, I haven't. This is the first. Well, I took the day off today, and I was like, oh man, I would really like to hang out with the guys, you know. And like the stars aligned, man. The stars freaking aligned, like Twitch. Finally sorted that out for me. Lady has gone to um, to be on on the radio, which I might be in a little bit of trouble about because she really likes to she really likes to hang out as well. <laughs> Yesterday the exact words were, "I'm a subscriber." <laughs> I'm like, well, sweetheart, I'm sure you're not the only person who's gonna miss it. <laughs> Dude, I hit the like, girlfriend jackpot, man. I've got a, I've got a lady who likes likes that stream, you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm off today, JC. I'm off today, so no lunchtime show. Sure. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Lady Boy, and maybe later on we'll do a public stream of the prep work for the painting. Because I still do want to get that prep work done. We'll see. Superior to that competition. If you guys were around yesterday, you know we're having trouble with our neighbours downstairs and that. Apparently the plumbers are coming between three and six in the afternoon today to fix whatever leak there is in the bathroom. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, just this area. You know what? I could actually leave that, uh, this um, thing in the background, this blanket here white. That might look, actually look quite cool. Now she's complaining about it on the radio. <laughs> Can't believe Probo's doing a stream without me. His first subscriber stream ever. Dude, you guys have no idea how much I was looking forward to this. Just hanging out with a small group of my most important peeps. Like, I have literally, I got up, walked the dog, made a coffee, posted that on the Discord, <laughs> and sat down. Man, we've got like a record. I've never had so many so many subscribers as I have right now. Well, no, that's not true, because um, Norgie's Shore and a few others um, back in the day did massive kind of gift subs so I have had like 100, 200 subscribers at one point but I mean subscribers that I feel like I've earned you know like that <clears throat> have swung by the channel I liked what they've seen I think I'm on a record right now man I mean, obviously, I knew um, I knew they all wouldn't be here <laughs> because I'm streaming outside of my normal hours. It's a bit of a douchebag move, really, right? <laughs> We're gonna do a sub-only stream, but not in hours where you're normally free or watching Twitch. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, let's see how this turned out. I did take a I did take a photo before I started painting, just in case we completely screw it up. As you guys know, I'm a bit of a novice at the old watercolor painting thing. Question: What would be your ideal day? Wow, pretty much this man. <laughs> Pretty much my plan for a day. Do some, make some art. A little intimate stream with my peeps. And let her hang out with Ladybug. I'm a simple man, you know.
I'm getting a very flat colour on here, sadly, and the paper is starting to buckle up. That means I'm using too much water, I believe. I think this is a good way to figure out who the MVPs of the community are. I know the MVPs of the community are, man. <laughs> you know, three of them are right here, right now. Um, looks at Con. <laughs> Poor Con last night. Apparently he couldn't get into his own account or something. He was using his brothers. And he won the jackpot while signed into a different account. <laughs> Um, I was surprised I'm working late and no one is ever on at this time. Do you have gum Arabic? If you sent me gum Arabic, I do. In fact, I do. I remember it being on one of the little bottles. What is that magic? What does gum Arabic do? I haven't had a proper day off, like a day off where I can just do me stuff in the longest goddamn time. Man. No one tell Lady Boss said that. She usually plans my um. She usually plans <laughs> my days off to the. <laughs> to the nth degree. <laughs> it's a binder, but you can dilute it into a wash so it's less water while keeping the same amount of pigment. Oh, dude. Oh, What's up, con man? <laughs> hey. Can't believe you're here, dude. It's awesome. We're just telling everybody. Did you, How many points do you have now, con? Because you did pass all your points, right? Let's check it out. Dude, there he is. Number three. Nipping at Lady Bo's heels. I'll admit, I'm making a bit of a dog's ear of all this. But it's all good, man. It's all good. Let's not panic. Oh, damn, he's here. Con's in, um, in South Africa. Dude, Con and I, um, uh, Lady Bo and I were super close to starting um, uh, Survivor South Africa last night. Super close. I was way tired though, so I ended up passing out. Try out that gum Arabic. Not on this piece. But I really do want to nail watercolour painting. I mean you see so many I see so many people on, on Instagram and social media posting watercolours do. You can get quite a lot done in quite a little time as well, which is really cool. But you know what I mean, I'm only gonna learn it doing it and making mistakes. Basically, exactly what I say to people, right? <laughs> when I'm giving art advice, you know, do it. Be crap at it. Enjoy being crap at it until you're not crap at it anymore. <laughs> that is that is the approach I intend to take with Walker. It 
It's the paper, not the skill. The brush and the paper will put you at a disadvantage. I got ya. Well, no, yeah, I mean, the paper is not watercolor paper. I didn't stretch it or anything. But I'm easy with that, dude. I'm all good. I'm in a really zen place this morning. <laughs> you guys usually see me like at the, right at the end of the day. I, I just put in like 10 hours in the office. I, I come home, I sit down for like 10 minutes. And I start getting ready for the stream. It's nice that you're seeing me like right at the beginning of a day with tons of energy. Big smile on my face. <laughs> Once you use rag watercolor paper, the difference will click and you'll never go back. Dude, I'll check that out. I mean, really, I want to do like a proper watercolor. I mean, I still consider this an illustration that I'm just throwing watercolor on. You know? And I'm getting right, dead on sight light. Been down and I'm getting right, dead on sight light. But yeah, I'm getting nowhere near an even coverage, yeah. It's all good. I took a photo before I started this. If I'm ever going to do any art experiments, it's going to be in these. <laughs> Subscriber only streams, man. <laughs> I trust you guys to forgive me when I screw up. Cherry Rob stuff isn't what I came for. Where's the rants? <laughs> yeah, I use them for the same purpose, dude. It's the way. This is the way. Yeah, sorry, man. I'm on my second coffee. I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the zone right now. As soon as coffee number two goes down, dude. it's like literally the best the best mood before coffee number one. Then then you're gonna hear some rants. <laughs> After coffee number two, all is good, man. The world is at peace. Are you just a morning person? No, 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 no. I miss the rants. <laughs> Dude, evening streams. Are only, are only a stones throw away, guy. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't call myself a morning person. I'd call myself a person who manages his mood with caffeine. Caffeine and marijuana. <laughs> I know, I know I said I was going to just do a little bit practice and then, I don't know. What do you know what I mean? I'm in the mood for happy accidents today. A little bit nervous about starting this, um, this portrait, man. I've never painted someone while they've been in the same room. I've drawn people while they've been in the same room. But never let them see it until it's finished. Yeah, I did the digital study. <laughs> Lady Bo was like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the hair. I'm like, sweetheart, it's a photo. It's your hair. <laughs> Extra day off vibes always helps, dude. Right? Right? Dude, they offer the win, man. Lady 
did not be judging. I mean, bless her. It's not easy. You know what I mean? You just see some, some like, even though it's me, just some dude manipulating an image of, your, of yourself. Like. And plus the, like, the photo shoot we took for it. She was, like, hung upside down. <clears throat> so it's hardly the most flattering of photos. Supposed to be a nice compliment to the goofy one that, the portrait that I did of myself. Every time you hold me, take me But the purpose of a painted portrait is that you make things look better. No blemishes, better hair, better boobs, yeah. <laughs> you and Lady Bo are in sync. <laughs> I'm of the Oliver Cromwell school of, um, school of portraiture. The warts and all school of portraiture. I don't know if you guys know that story. Oliver Cr Cromwell was like the Lord Protector of England for for a long, long while. And, um... And someone painted a portrait, I can't remember the name of the artist, painted a portrait of him. And he, and when it was done, he rejected it. He said, I, look, that's, I don't like it, it's not me. I want you to paint a portrait of me, warts and all. That's where the expression comes from. Basically, looking the way I look. Not flattering. Rob out here finishing the painting and spending 40 more hours on perfect, perfecting the, the boobs. <laughs> What's an offer, stranger? She's going to see how you see her. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Yeah, no, you actually might be right about that. <laughs> yeah, you may not hear me say, asking, do you like it, sweetheart, as much as I normally do? If I see a pack in a bag while I'm... <laughs> while I'm painting it, I know I'm in trouble. I do kind of like the patchy nature of how it's coming out right now. It was worrying me right at the start, but I'm kind of digging it right now. Reminds me of the, like the 70s, uh, what's his name? Not Winnie the Pooh. Paddington Bear illustrations. But um, having coloured the sketch, I've learned quite a lot. Like, I don't need to do nearly as much cross hatching because the paint's going to do all that work for me. So the next time I colour an illustration, I'm going to be a bit clever about it. And I think definitely I'm going to get myself some decent watercolour brushes and start illustrating on watercolour paper. I actually do have a block of watercolor paper. You can pick up residual moisture with a paper towel if your ink sucks in. Oh, good idea, sir.
Hang in there, Kitty. I think the best thing about this piece is definitely the hang in there pick Kitty poster in the background. Do we, do we dare have coffee number three? I think, we, I think we might. I think we might. I think we might be brave enough. I spent 12 hours mapping a moon calendar. Dude, is that for a project you're working on or just for shits and giggles? You know what I'm gonna do it here? I'm gonna map the moon. Holy shit, Con, you're right. Dice is the way to go. Look at that. That's You just 4x those points, you bet. All right, guys, I'm going to go make a, a quick cup of coffee. Back in a second. Hey, look at you. You made it to the midpoint in the video. Good for you. Um, at this point, I'm going to remind you, you should probably subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so, or jump into twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian and join me on my next stream. On with the show. Oh, Con, so close to knocking Lady Bo off. Ah, what was the last thing you worked incredibly hard on? Ah, sorry, Mr. Miss Poncho Boy. Dude, a moon calendar, that's awesome. But what's that for? Is that like to measure tides or something or? I mean, it does not sound easy. Let's put it that way. forward to getting some oil paint in as well man it's gonna be another quick portrait though 15 hours done my method my, my thinking is if i can get good at portraiture get him knocked out in like 15 hours which isn't like a let's be fair isn't like a short amount of time isn't a particularly long amount of time for a portrait well it isn't a, you know isn't like the upwards of 40 hours that I spend on my normal pieces. I'll open up to commissions. I'll do a few commissions. If I can knock them out in 15 hours, I could do like five or six a year. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not even perfectly happy with the portrait I did myself. Well, that's why I practiced on myself first, you know. And I've got a sneaky little plan. I'm going to paint my, uh, my I'm going to paint my boss. My boss is um, kind of famous here in Spain. I haven't decided whether I'm going to ask his um, permission yet. <laughs> But then I can take it in a work one day, show him it, and take a photo of me, him, and the portrait together. I 
I'm overdosing. I think people mostly use it for aesthetics, but it's just a pain in the ass. I do a few calendars every year because people eat eat them up in December and January. Got ya. Dude, that's actually really clever, man. Dude, something happened. Well, I think most of you saw it, right? I put it on Discord. So I've been um, been really trying to up my LinkedIn game. <laughs> and that sounds kind of lame, like what's an artist doing on LinkedIn, you know? It's not really for the art people. It's for the for the gallery owners and my chantists, the art, the curators and things like that. And the other day. This woman from a national newspaper in Spain val um, validated my skill in art. Unbelievable, man. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I'm going to play around with some... Uh, some shades and tones in here now. I'm overdosing. I'm overdosing. I can't continue. Fuck it. I might as well finish it. So yeah, the idea there is I'll paint, I'll paint my boss. He'll hate it. He'll hate it because I know the kind of art he likes, and it's not the kind of art I do. <laughs> He'll hate it, but no one will ever hear him say he hates it. <laughs> They'll just see a photo of me on Instagram shaking his hand with the painting I've painted in the background. <laughs> And Richard will let me get away with it because secretly he really likes me. <laughs> Should do one of the paintings. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, just get my paintings up there on a calendar. He does, yeah, I think so. Official art merchant recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, man. I couldn't, I could not believe it. I mean, to be fair, you look at my art Instagram, you think, holy shit, this guy's been in the art business for, for forever. You know, like a professional artist. Because I've got like tons of references and tons of contacts. But that's just because I, like over the last six months, I've um, I've just been focused in on on building a really great network of contacts on there. So this lady probably thought, oh my god, yeah, look at all this, look at all this shit. Look at this dude, look at all these contacts. I started doing that recently. <clears throat> a 
it's not a bad idea to get industry contacts, eh? I mean. Only, the only downside with LinkedIn, as I perceive it, is that the, they limit you to, to only being, at, being able to send out 100 contact requests a week. That's why it's basically why it's taken me so long. And I started off with... Um, I started off, well, I'll, I'll give you the whole process, right? So I started off thinking, my, my thought process was this, right? I'm looking to get recognition and make contacts here in Spain. So I thought, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fish for other artists outside of Spain. So I started in, uh, I started with London. And I started sending connection requests to London artists. Dude, I got like... If I sent out 100 requests, I got maybe like 10 people accept. So then you can send out requests with, um, uh, you can send actually like a little message with your connection request. So, so I wrote out a little message. I upped my conversion rate like to about 40. 40 of 100. I don't like when you add them and they talk to you. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. It's the worst. Motherfuckers. Ugh. What, now I have to, I have to talk to you now and everything? Rob, so popular. Nice popularity flex. <laughs> what kind of message? It's really simple. Um, hi, I'm Rob. I'm an artist. I'm a British artist living in Madrid. In Madrid. I'd love to add you to my network of contacts. Um, so that upped my conversion rate to like per to per hundred requests, like forty accept. But still, like we're talking like a hundred requests, it's like a whole week. You have to wait until you can do it again, and it's super easy. So then I um, I added the name of the person to the message. Um, so instead of, hi, I'm Rob, I'm an artist, love to add you to my network of contacts. It'd be, hey, John, I'm Rob, and I'm out. And that upped, upped it a little bit more. About 45 on average out of 100. Or 35, sorry. So then I thought, well, okay, maybe the problem is the location. And I remember when I was in LA, I came back with this stack. I mean, shit, you know, a stack of business cards, like... California, they just they just need you to be a business contact. So I started hitting up artists in um, Los Angeles, San Francisco, basically California, San Diego. Dude, 100 requests, maybe 80 accepted. <laughs> hey, John, <laughs> I'm Rob. I'm a British artist living in Madrid. Love to have you to my network of contacts. Boom. So I did that until I had about, I don't know, like, three or four hundred contacts. <clears throat> Thought you have a hundred is pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Fish for, I like it. <laughs> then he started to blackmail them, got 60. <laughs> so then um, I started I started with Spain, not particularly Madrid. Madrid is the, obviously the community that interests me because that's where I live. But I started with artists outside. Same message, but in Spanish. In, in Spanish. Hola, soy Rob. Soy un artista británico afinicado en Madrid. I'd like to add you to my contacts, can't I? Until I got like, until I was on like six, seven hundred contacts. And now I'm, um, I'm hitting up gallery owners and Marchantes de Arte, people who set up exhibitions and stuff. But you got to pimp out that profile, man. It's got to look. It's got to look legit. I mean, it is legit. At the end of the day, it's my artwork and shit. But, you know, get some people to write references, get people to validate your skills. 
Like, if you do it, um, well, I think I actually might have you on LinkedIn, Lisa. I'll write you, um, I'll write you a, a recommendation. All that stuff is really important because when, like, it's all about conversion rate, right? Every For every contact you add, getting the, the most possible, the highest possible chance of them accepting that connection request. It's all about conversion rate. And it's, uh, in the beginning, it's a question of numbers. Like now I have a bunch of contacts that I can actually use when uh, when the time comes, you know what I mean? So the, the more people who are validating your skills, the more of your own work you've got up there and stuff, it, it all helps to, when someone sees your profile after you've sent them that initial connection request. All helps to, to kind of increase the num number of conversions you get. Rob soon will be connected to monarchies and CEOs. Afinicado is Nivalazo. Thank you, JC. Oh, I'll be honest. I sent a little message to Lady Bomb. I'm like, Lady Bomb, could you translate this for me? But thank you. <laughs> I would look I would have loved to take that compliment for myself, JC, but <laughs> hey, that was a lady ball. So yeah, and that's um, uh, and that's how I'm doing it. It's good I've had a bunch of people reach out asking if I've got a website, if they can see my work and shit. <laughs> 